So uh, welcome to the uh, Anantara Golden Triangle Resort in uh, Chiang Rai Province, Thailand. The, uh, the Anantara Golden Triangle Elephant Camp Resort and Spa. I'm showing at the entrance here. Students into the, uh, the resort. Lovely lakes uh, around the front. The main uh, street entrance uh, is just down there. The uh, lakes and the gardens out front. And, uh, we'll go for a walk. We'll go for a walk around the resort. Here in uh, the northernmost province of Thailand, the Golden Triangle. Ready. So welcome to Thailand. Welcome to Anantara Golden Triangle Resort. We'll go for a walk around. Uh, lots of elephants here. It's an elephant camp resort. And uh, very nice place to stay as well on holidays. Uh, we've got a lovely suite. It's called a three country view suite. Uh, the resort's a couple of minutes just up the road here. We've got a lovely uh, three country view suite. Uh, very nice views. The Golden Triangle uh, basically at the confluence of the Mekong and uh, Ruak River. The Mekong is the 12th longest river in the world at uh, 4,350 kilometers. The Mekong River, 4,350 kilometers. Forms the border between uh, Thailand and Laos, countries in uh, Southeast Asia. And uh, that's the wheels, hotel's wheels I got out yesterday. Uh, and the Ruak River, which is branches off the Mekong, uh, forms the border between Thailand and uh, Myanmar. So those are the three countries. We've got the gym and uh, Muay Thai boxing and stuff down there. See the boxing ring. Yes, it's a couple of minutes up here to the resort. Uh, when I got here, I took their uh, VIP Regal arrival service. So uh, this is also how I got here. Uh, you get the car from, uh, complimentary car from uh, Chiang Rai Airport. It's about 60 kilometers from here. And they drive you to Chiang Sen, which is actually on the Mekong River. Chiang Sen's on the Mekong River. That was the capital of the Lana Kingdom here, Lana Kingdom. And then from there, uh, oh, I'm blowing, walking uphill. Uh, from Chiang Sen on the Mekong River, it's on the border, Thai Laos border. You take a Thai longboat, Antara's longboat. And uh, come up, you get off at the uh, hotel's jetty, and then uh, the elephants pick you up. And you come up here, I came up here yesterday riding an elephant, all right? So I'm blowing. Imagine how the elephant felt with me sitting on a, his back. Yeah, that's the VIP Regal car boat elephant. All right, so you see the resort uh, entrance, the brown building uh, just opening out right in front of us. Yes, that's the Golden Triangle. There are two rivers, Mekong and uh, Ruak River. Three countries. You see, once we get in, three countries: uh, Laos, Myanmar, where we are, Thailand. Okay, so this is the resort, uh, the main entrance. Just opening out here after the introduction. Walking uphill. The rest of it's down over here. Most of it. We've got a hilltop with a nice view. We'll finish up there. But yeah, the Anantara here. There's a Four Seasons on the, we're on the Ruak River, which is a branch off the Mekong River. On the other side of the Ruak is Myanmar. Uh, there's a Four Seasons about 200 meters up the road along the river. Uh, but Anantara are Thai hoteliers. There are advantages to staying with a Thai hotelier here yeah, being that all the elephants that you'll see belong to us. So uh, hence the elephant pickup yesterday, so to speak. All right, see three elephants out of front just there. Yes, yeah, the Four Seasons tented uh, camp next uh, along the river. We get better views of the Mekong. Alrighty, so welcome into the resort. Good by elephants. All right, standing and catch my breath for a minute, yeah, walking up that hill. All right, elephants did a good job yesterday. All right, so this is the Anantara Golden Triangle Resort. The main entrance to the elephants there. Yeah, so my room is actually just up there. We won't go to the room, we'll walk around the resort. So they have these buggies. 
get you around the place. There's main entrance, elephants everywhere. You'll see some live ones. I think I've seen two already this morning, no, five. Five this morning. And it's about 10.30 in the morning. They just wander around the gardens. They feed the buggies to get you around. It's the name of the place. And a golden triangle. So the elephant pickup, that's where you get dropped off. Just there. I say. Drums to welcome people. Pond here. Hi. Help pond here with fishing. Just like the first courtyard. See the fish. It's really hot in the afternoon, so we're walking around at this time. It's pretty hot already. Okay, this is the second courtyard. That's where the lobby is. There's the lobby and stuff just there. That's lobby gardens. Beautiful hotel. Resort. Yep. There's rooms on both sides. There's rooms on both sides. We're at the middle of the resort here. So my room is on the right. It's called the Chang Sai Wing. On the left is the Mei Sai Wing. Yeah, so my room's just up there. It's where the pool is. The gardens. It's not too large a resort, we're going to get around very quickly. Yep, that's the main entrance. Straight ahead. From elephant to elephant. There's this lobby here. Nice cool breeze coming in. It's very quiet. It's the elephant bar. Flowers. The restaurant is downstairs. The restaurant breakfast. And, uh, and, uh, this is the famous elephant bar. Uh, I'll explain how they make the coffee in a second. I'll explain to you about the coffee uh, once we get out of the pool area. This is the pool.
Yeah, and it's the Golden Triangle. It's the hills uh, out there. That first river is the Ruakru. You can see the elephants already. Uh, there's two. Just in the water there. As if by magic. Okay, see two elephants there? So that's how I got here. The, the speedboat from Chang Sen, Lana Kingdom. That's where the hotel pier is around there. Drops you off. The elephants pick you up. And then uh, you come up. Ready? Seen uh, seven elephants now this morning, I think. Saw them from my suite, uh, which is that one there with the towel. It's my suite here. It's a lovely room. We've got there. Get around the pool first. Yeah, it's an elephant bar. And the rooms and suites. There's nobody here, it's good. And there's plenty of people here, there's nobody at the pool. Yeah, you're lucky to see those two elephants there, just right, they're perfectly positioned for me to zoom in on them. Alrighty, let's walk around the pool. Talk a bit louder once we get out of here, I mean once we get further down. It's all the public areas sort of thing. So that's the, the, river, the hills you see in the distance, that's Laos. It's on the other side of the Mekong River. So that Buddha statue there, that's in Laos. That Buddha statue is in Laos, yeah. That's on the other side of the Mekong River. You haven't seen the Mekong River yet, I'll show you. Uh, so the hills are all Laos. And then this is the Ruak River just in the front. So that red-roofed building is Myanmar. It's, uh, it's a casino hotel. It's in Myanmar. So on this frame in the front is Thailand, middle Myanmar, the distance is Laos. Yep. The Ruak River is coming off the Mekong River. Check out Google Maps. Alright. The so pool. It's my suite up there. The towel hanging. Mr. Elephant. Beautiful, eh? Okay, let's walk down these steps and uh, first things first, elephant coffee. What's that elephant coffee about? Yeah, black ivory, I had that stuff. Basically what they do is, you saw the elephants, what they do is they tie Arabica coffee beans, tie Arabica coffee beans, they feed them to the elephants, uh, the elephants eat it, goes to the elephant's stomach and colon and all that, and then the elephant uh, droppings, they're hand-picked, droppings are hand-picked. And uh, yeah, the, pool. the elephant droppings are hand picked. They pick out the bit that was the coffee beans and uh, make the coffee beans into coffee. And that's what I had to drink. Yeah, they actually make the coffee in front of you in the bar. They bring out a packet of the coffee, the beans, they make it in front of you. I've got video footage. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll put a video up. So that's what the coffee is. Yeah, so walk around this is the garden area. You'll see better views of the three river, of the two rivers once we got to the top. Uh, the smarter ones would have, uh, from what I said, would have figured it out. This is the garden terrace. It's the lowest place uh, general public access for guests because it's an uh, elephant, uh, it's called the Golden Triangle Asian Elephant Foundation. There are 250,000 elephants left in the wild on planet Earth. There are three species of elephant, the African bush, African forest and Asian elephant. Uh, 200,000 in Africa, 50,000 in Asia basically. The Asian elephant is considered endangered and the African elephant is considered vulnerable. Those are technical terms. Uh, so it's, um, it's dangerous for everyone, shall we say. Endangered elephants because they, elephants are crucial to the, uh, the food chain. Uh, and the two biggest reasons is one is the ivory trade which should be just illegal and the other is uh, human encroachment on their habitat. Right, you can see the elephants just there. 150,000 in Asia. There are signs at Bangkok Airport, yeah? Try and take ivory out of this country, uh, you go to jail, all right? Ivory trade should just be banned outright. Human encroachment you can't do much about, all right? Yeah. 
One of 50,000 Asian elephants in the wild considered endangered. Yeah, it's dangerous to everyone. Because elephants are crucial to the food chain. Yeah, it's got a little herb garden here. A little herb garden. Let's walk through it. Yeah, so that all that grassland is protected for elephants. You can't just wander on. There are various activities that will allow you to go on. It's with a guide. You can't just wander on down there. Probably snakes in there as well. Yeah. Steps on one as he talks. There's a little herb garden here. Okay. Let's walk. Uh, let's walk back up. I'm going to show you the restaurants upstairs. Some good use right there. Let's walk up these stairs. Yes, yeah, so that's the Luwak River you see. Uh, the Four Seasons is uh, it's in the next bay, it's just over there. Uh, there's his tent. Okay, let's go up these stairs. There's his tent. Uh, even this place is expensive. Basic room, they've got 61 rooms and suites. The basic room is 1,000 US dollars. Mine's a suite, 1,500 US dollars for a suite, yeah? A night, 1,500. Four Seasons are tents, they're 2,500. But we've got the elephants. Of course, we walk past. Let's go down the gardens. Hey, okay, the restaurant. Just walk. <coughs> Do I breakfast? So I breakfast this morning. Lobby's upstairs. Okay. Let's go in here. This is my table on the left for breakfast. Turn the camera this way. Okay, see the elephant. It's gone behind the tree. Got rooms on this side as well. See the rooms on this side. It's the Mei Sai side. I'm on the Chang Sai side. So that's the uh, the Golden Triangle Elephant Asian Elephant Foundation. That's where the elephants live and sleep. Uh, so that belongs to us. The hotel. Four Seasons on the other side of that hill. Yeah, Four Seasons uh, tented place on the other side of the hill. That's the Asian Elephant Foundation here. So we own all the elephants, they all walk around our gardens. There's all the rooms on this side. I think I've got the best view, my room. Got a rice barn down there. Here when I was at Four Seasons Chiang Mai, I was a farmer for a day. You can do that here as well. The rice barn, there's a paddy field just there as well. They, they teach you how to plant rice. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm not doing it here. I was at Four Seasons Chiang Mai. Chiang Rai is the northernmost province. We're different to Chiang Mai. Yeah, and then uh, let's pan around. There's the restaurant. So elephants are herbivores. They only eat, we're not on their menu. Uh, they live basically near water, so they've got a lake, a little lake there, next to the river. So they go for a shower in there, a bath, and so on. So one of the activities you can do is walking with giants. I'm doing that this afternoon. Walk them down for a bath. Yeah, they're disappearing the trees now. You were lucky to see those elephants, yeah? I saw five elephants in five or four hours. I woke up very early this morning. Uh, you were lucky to see those elephants just right there. There's room on this side. Flip flops. Alright, so we'll cut up through the lobby and uh, go to my suite, yeah? I'm already sweating. Uh, then it's at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah? We'll be swimming. Okay, let's go to the lobby to my room. It's just up here. Let's think of a path. I've seen the lobby already, so we'll walk down the front. Yep, rice barn. Yeah, 
this is here, let's go this way. It's got a boutique shop here. It's accessible from the lobby as well. And there, stuff. Clothes and stuff. Reflection's more interesting. to my room you can actually cut through the lobby area that's what hotels are about go through the front yes yeah, so back at the main entrance it's the lobby pull to the right and uh, you've seen that path already right the restaurant is downstairs I just walk around still it's quite a compact hotel 61 rooms and suites 44 rooms 17 suites Two categories of suites. Two categories of suites. Mine is the normal suite, and then uh, got two bedroom suites for families. I plump for the normal suite. Okay, so back in the pool. We should get our landmark bearings right. That's the pool. Yep, so you know where we are for that walk. Yep, swimming pool. Hi, hello, 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 how's it going? Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen the pool already. Okay, that's my villa suite just up there. Okay. And the way you get there. The shortcut through there. Uh, you can actually walk around through the gardens as well and then uh, take the shortcut because it's the cut I took in the pool when I went from the pool to Saint Moir, this is the route I took so this is the route I'll take Planet Earth with me on Burberry glasses the lenses uh, let me change them okay the elephants around the place So that's the way in from the lobby. That's the main main entrance just there. So you saw the jeeps. Yeah. We're taking a shortcut. So they have water buffalo here as well. Every morning, nine o'clock, after breakfast, they bring water buffalo to the front. So they've got some photos. So I'll go up to my room here. Uh, I'll cut the video at the room. I'll show you all the stuff I got up to here. The black ivory coffee, water buffaloes, the pools, uh, a bit of elephant stuff. We're feeding elephants yesterday, coconuts, and so on. And then uh, after that, I'll walk you up to the top of the hill. The hill is just straight up there, top of the hill, five minutes. And uh, you'll see the Mekong River properly. 205 is mine. So I'll look here. It's mine up there. That is the gardens in. Imagine if they let an elephant out wild in here. All the shrubs would be gone. They do. When we were coming in, when I was walking in uh, on the elephant back, there's a guide. Uh, every now and then the elephant with its trunk, it like grabs onto branches on the side try and eat them and you're sitting on the back of it yeah and the, the elephant's feeding itself and uh so it wobbles a bit yeah try to let different loose on there yeah beautiful plants that Anna and Tyra looked after okay so see the boat on the Ruak river that's how I got here the VIP regal there's a tight long boat there so on the other side of the river is Myanmar yeah it's a national it's an international border if you walk across there, you can get done. Uh, I mean, you can just go across it, so you need a visa, right? Passport control and stuff. And the white structure is Laos. It's a Buddhist pagoda temple. All right, so I'm just up here. We quick was around the room. Post a separate video of the room. Key card here, it's made out of wood. There's an antenna on there. Yeah. There's plants. 
left the door on the latch, it's alright. And blames the key cards so that you get sweaty walking around. It stops working. Walk back to the lobby. Hey, let's lock him in. It's my uh, three country view suite. At, uh, I think I put the lights on. At, uh, yeah, yeah. Three country view suite at Anantara Golden Triangle Resort, Thailand. I was in here this morning, uh, elephant watching. This is the room. It's the deck here. A deck like this. Yeah, there's an elephant watching through the umbrella. I saw the heat, not the rain. Uh, sitting in here watching elephants. Cool and stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. So just as, uh, that's what I mean. You can see the elephants there. That tree, they're marching along. Yeah, elephant. I know how to zoom now in one go. Figured out the geography of the trees. There's an army of them. I think we caught the last one. Maybe there's just one. Anyway, you saw the elephant. Very easy there. There's two, you see. How many is that? Nine? It's probably the same two, actually. Probably double counting. There are 22 uh, elephants. Here. Alright, there's three. There's 22 elephants here, okay? Let's call an elephant camp. Alrighty. Let's walk around the room. Yeah, this is my deck here. Nice place just to hang out. That's the towel that we saw on the walk. Sound tower is channel on the box. The living room. Um, bedroom. Bathroom is just in through there. Nothing girls. Bathroom. And uh, get a store area, yeah, some teas and coffees and stuff. Store area through here, it's a red boy resting. Yeah. And uh, there's a t shirt I've got here, an entire uh, golden trail elephant camp. It's got a little squidge on the back. That's how, you, that's, how you, that's how the guy was controlling the elephants like turn left, turn right, stop, and so on. It's the name of the camp, Mahout Camp. Yeah, it's got the t shirt here. Yeah, the place. Story. And then uh, bathroom is just in through here. It's the bathroom here. Boys and girls. Bathtub. Bedroom looking out towards the three countries. We get a shower just through here. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, such a place. We're in mirrors. Sports fans. Sports fans, greetings. Uh, welcome to the uh, Anantara Elephant Camp Resort, Golden Triangle, Thailand. Boys and girls, no comment. Sports fans. Uh, what sports going on? Singapore Formula One next week. Test match going on in England, London, Australia, West England. Not sure what the score is. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of sports here. Yeah, it's a bedroom. So, uh, what do I want to show you here? Google Maps. Let me just pick up Google Maps here. Just, uh, yeah, okay. So that's where we are. The blue dot is the Anantara. So that's the Mekong River, Ruak River. Uh, Four Seasons is there. Anantara is here. Sorry, this is the Mekong River, like this. So all this is Laos. This is the Ruak River, Myanmar, Thailand. Okay, so that's the geography. That's where we are. We're kind of earthy. And uh, you can contribute to the foundation if you want. Yeah, it's always good. And uh, yeah, that's the view. To show you the map of the resort, it's the Antares Channel. Great places to travel around the world. Is that Maldives, Kihava? Been there? Yeah, been there. Kihava. Been to the West All right, that's the resort map. So lobby here, pool here. I'm here. Uh, this room's on the other side. So that's the elephant foundation is here. That's the pier where they drop you off on the boat. It's not actually there, it's there. And then the hilltop is there. I'll watch the hilltop after this clip. Uh, yeah, that's how they meet you. You arrive on the jetty, the elephant meets you. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, fruit and stuff around the place. All right, all the hair is, we'll cut the video. Life is a journey. We'll cut the video here, and uh, I'll show you uh, 
elephant. Show you some of the stuff I got up to, and then uh, we'll go for a walk to the hilltop. All right. So lobby. It's lobby area. Elephant bar. Pools. Garden's going up towards the hilltop. There. And the Golden Triangle. That's the Ruach River. Yeah, so if you saw on the map, it's like S shaped, W shaped, U shaped, N shaped, whatever you want to call it. The hill is, uh, the hill's a Laos. And, uh, the red roofed building is a casino in Myanmar. Hey. Let's enjoy the clips. Let's see you in a second. The elephants are just there. Totally the three of them. One. Just uh, arriving at the Anantara on elephant. Somebody just there. Ah yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Ah. Ah yeah. I'm on this buddy. Ah. Ah. His ears. Yeah. Are you right here? Bye. 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 Just uh, come for breakfast here at uh, Anantara. It's uh, my spread here. That's what I'm having. Come and uh, talk to you about that in a second. Yes, yeah, the view. Three country view for breakfast. Uh, right river straight out there. I've seen a few elephants this morning. I've seen a few elephants over breakfast. Uh, just walking back from their uh, morning swim. Show where the elephants live. Show my breakfast in a second. I'll show where the elephants live. They live just over here uh, in the barn. That's the uh, Golden Triangle Elephant Foundation just there. There's a couple of elephants there in the barn. Yeah, breakfast. See the elephants and then eat your breakfast. That's the deal. That's the rice barn there. Some uh, prawn uh, fried rice on the table. It's the fried, uh, rice barn here. Yeah, it's the restaurant. Ready? Show you my food. Where I get stuck in. It's a rest, uh, breakfast place. Mr. K is being fed over here. See the mist coming off the hills. It's my table. Get a bit of coffee. It's, uh, eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. Uh, sit down. Eggs Benedict. There's some prawn fried rice. You saw the rice barn. Cakes. Yeah, a bit of coffee. Red. And the sauces, yep. Yeah. 
It's um, Mr. Gay's bread for breakfast, yeah? It's in the elephant, so uh, I can eat happily now. Can I feed him? Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a resident, uh, resident water buffalo. resident uh, water buffalo at uh, Anantara. Let's go in the, uh, the pool for a swim. A lovely, uh, lovely day here in, uh, in the Golden Triangle. Uh, taking the pool for a swim, our elephant friend. Alrighty, so we've got a, uh, it's like a jacuzzi round pool just here. The pool's quite deep, yeah, this is a shallow area for kids. It's the kiddies area. It's a two and a half meter deep pool. And uh, there's a bar and stuff through there. Mm -hmm. We're in the pool for a lovely day. My suite, my villa is uh, that one there with the towel. Okay, it's a lovely afternoon. I've got the pool to myself. I'm not entirely sure where everybody is. Uh, plenty of people here yesterday evening. But uh, anyway, say more. My suite. Yeah, uh, the pool shack. And another elephant friend. This one's got two, it's got a baby one on top. That's how I got it yesterday. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful swimming pool. Ready, so I'm parked uh, on the last uh, Last deck chair here, that's the, uh, the Golden Triangle. See the Rack River. You can see an elephant. Just there. See the elephant? Makes a tree. Yeah, he's going for a shower. I mean, he's going for a bath. So will I. Yeah, I'm parked just over here. Place to me, myself, and I. Mr. K is going to take you in the water for a swim. We're at Golden Triangle. Yeah, so this is the shallow, but it's a two and a half meter pool. It's a two and a half meter pool, yeah. The depth uh, here is 2.5 meters. That's enough uh, to sink an elephant. All right, show you that. The kiddies area. It's progressively uh, deeper. Yeah, it's the golden triangle. So we saw the elephant just now. There's a couple more there. See the other one. There, right in the middle of the frame. Yeah, elephants everywhere. They go in the water to cool down. They go in the water to cool down. like us. See, so it's two and a half meters at that side. It's one and a half meters at this side, so we'll stay on this side. That's enough to sink an elephant on the other side, but uh, this side isn't enough to quite to sink me. 
Nice, isn't it? Let's wait across the other side. Get this up here. Inspired by the elephants and in the pool with Mr. K. Let's go across this side. Yeah, we don't know with. I don't know why they made the pool so deep. But at least they've got some uh, kid area for kids as well. Yeah, that's a width in the pool. A lovely day here. The pool to ourselves. All right, see you later. Pull it uh, an entire uh, golden triangle. I think I'm in there trying to get myself out there. Yeah, all right, ciao. See where was up there. fried rice, prawn fried rice for lunch, get a bit of uh, fish curry, tapiari fish, and red curry, Thai style, and you get a bit of rice for that as well, yep. rice, fish curry, and uh, fried rice, prawn fried rice even, it's lunch with you. with the view at the entire food looks delicious and attacking right. walking with the elephants in a tick so come to the uh, the elephant bar at uh, Anantara so it's the world's rarest coffee and, uh, just sitting over here it's the coffee, the beans are fed to the elephants, hand-picked beans made into coffee. Cool. This is not, it's the, uh, the coffee. That's how they make it, that's how they watch them make it. Uh, you put the coffee powder in there, hot water through there, it comes out. Uh, and then this is the stuff, this is the black ivory coffee. Yeah, that's the spiel about it. We'll give you the beans to take home as well. They know what it tastes like. That's what it tastes like. Elephant coffee. Yeah, it's very nice. It's alright actually, it's good stuff. Black ivory coffee. So, uh, elephant coffee is good, but uh, snake whiskey. Not so good. There are snakes here, yeah? Are you braver? Uh, no. Snake is scary. It's going to Hi. Elephant coffee is fine. Stick to that. Doing this uh, walking with elephants activity, walking with elephants activity at uh, Anantara Golden Triangle. Got uh, three elephants joining us uh, for a walk here. Gonna walk down and uh, take them for a bath in the river. These are three, hi. Let's walk back. There's the three buddies. Walk for a walk with us. 
Fine. Head down. Uh, it's gonna head down and take them for a shower. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh. My hoots uh, yeah. now to. Uh, Ready? Catch you with him and go past in front. It's pretty cool this. It's walking down from their uh, residence. It's a resort uh, on the hillside. I've just come down to look at this uh, rice barn paddy field. It's got a rice barn here and uh, so you can be like a farmer for the day. They teach you how to uh, how to uh, sort of plant rice the traditional Thai way. It's the, uh, the paddy fields that they've got here. There you go. And how to plant rice the traditional way if uh, you fancy. Yeah, it's a rice barn. There's orders all the way up there. See the rooms, the, uh, the main lobby complex. Yep, let's go down and have a look. How do you feel? So, welcome to my uh, suite in the evening. So we have the, uh, the Golden Triangle from our Three Country View suite. Uh, the moon is coming out. Can you see the moon just between the trees there? And I've uh, just had the uh, evening uh, turn down service and deli dinner delivered at the uh, Anantara Thai style Thai hosts in Thailand. Yeah, so the elephant is uh, still on the bed. And uh, this is uh, yeah, Anantara again. More leaves. This is food. So we've gone to some uh, vegetarian Pad Thai. Pad Thai is a uh, local Thai food. It's a uh, vegetable pad thai. A bit of uh, beef, beef curry there. Beef curry, a bit of rice. And then you get your bread rolls, butter, olives, and so on. That's yeah, the fruit from earlier. So my fruit gone. Yeah, that's dinner for the dinner Miss in the evening. And, uh, watching the Anataras channel there. Yep. And, uh, Yes, yeah, the view. Yeah, dusk is falling. Lovely sights and uh, there's my deck here. Everyone's going out as the pool. We have a fire lighting ceremony in the evening. Went for a swim just now. Had my elephant coffee as well. Went for a swim just now. Went for a swim first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's the place. Golden Triangle, Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand. Beautiful. All right, dinner time for me. It's uh, dinner time for Mr. K. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Uh, pool and uh, show the view. Apparently, it gets cloudy and misty out there. It gets cloudy and misty, and uh, uh, the mist comes off the mountains. All right, but for now, it's dinner time. All right, see you later. It's a great place this year. Great views. Superb. All right, ciao. Alrighty, so uh, some of the uh, experiences I got up to here. Great swim in the pool, right? Uh, Elephants and uh, the elephant coffee, 
and so on. Some of the best views here. Yeah. This suite, this hotel. Some of the best views of anywhere in the uh, in the Golden Triangle. All right, so let's go for a walk up to the. Uh, let's go for a walk up to the top of the hill. Let's go for a walk up to the uh, top of the hill. Mind you, my suite. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk up the top of the hill and then you'll see the Mekong River in all her glorious might. Alright. Yeah, great views. Not that we're comparing, but uh, the tents at the Four Seasons, I don't think they'll have views like that. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the top of the hill. Boys and girls. Okay, so we're going to walk up the hill to the top. It's about a four minute walk. You'll see some uh, religious structures en route. Some beautiful. Uh, greenery as well. It's an uphill walk. So uh I'm swimming for a swim in the pool just now. I'm swimming for a swim in the pool. So I'm fresh after my shower, but I won't be when we get to the top. Wherever there are elephants you'll see them. Crocodiles as well, the Mekong River. Now there's no crocodiles in the Mekong River. Alright, let's walk up the top, let's walk up the roof, the hill. back down there. We'll uh, head up this way. So luckily there are only uh, 61 rooms and suites so it's only like two blocks. Two blocks of room entrances uh, if we get to the top of the resort. The neighbours. There's only two floors of rooms as well. There's only two floors of rooms. Mine's an upstairs one you saw. Obviously you get better views upstairs. Uh, the view from here is obscured by the trees you might have seen. So I am thinking I've got the best view on the resort right in front of the pool. Yeah. Top is just there. It's mine just down there. <coughs> the bush. So we had a light drizzle earlier this morning when I woke up. You saw the mist, uh, the mist on the hills. When I walked around earlier, it's a bit more cloudy. See how it's visibly brightened up. That's what happened yesterday. It's really hot and sunny in the afternoons. It's actually the monsoon season in August, uh, September. It's actually the monsoon season here, but it hasn't been like that. Hot and sunny like this. Alrighty. That's the top there. We see the uh, statue. It's the last batch of rooms. Yeah, the trees obscure the views up here. Looking towards the, the rivers. Get a bit more privacy. We don't quite see the elephants in the way that we did. A very good activity they've got is uh, walking with the giants. I'm doing that this afternoon. Walking with the giants. You walk with the elephants from the uh, foundation there all the way to the uh, river. It start blowing a bit there. Yeah? Walking uphill. There's a nice vantage point here. Which I'll take you on. This is right at the top of the resort. Not the hill. The hill's further up. That's where we're going. Get some decent views. See the elephants on the Ruak River. So that's the Ruak River. Just down there. See the bend in the river. 
Four Seasons Tented Camp is the next one along. It's about 20 minutes. It's the next bend on the river, basically. Yeah. There's no elephants at the moment there. It's their bathing lake. So on. So it's called the Opium, I mean it's called the Golden Triangle. Um, Golden Triangle because uh, it's actually a term coined by the CIA, the US of A. This is the world's largest opium growing place, 1950s onwards, opium, heroin, morphine, all that stuff. This is the world's largest opium growing place, yeah, yeah, opium. So it's called the Golden Triangle. It's been overtaken by Afghanistan now at the Golden Crescent. The Golden Crescent in Afghanistan is now the world's largest uh, opium growing place. It used to be here, the Golden Triangle. They've got a museum out front, in front of the hotel, the Opium Museum. Take through the history of the place and stuff, but yeah, Golden Triangle, Opium. Alright, so this is the hilltop. The two religious statues here. There's one, it's there. There's another one there. Uh, more substantial one just here. So it's, on the, it's on the hotel's map, this place, it's part of the hotel. It's called the Hilltop, you get best views up here. You can arrange parties and weddings and stuff. Yeah. Religious structure. See the barbecues. Got it all laid out. And then the mighty Mekong River. So, Golden Triangle is... There's a Buddha statue on our side in Thailand. We've also got a Buddha statue on the Laos side there to mark the uh, the Golden Triangle itself. The Golden Triangle is the confluence of the Mekong River to the Buddha statue that's in Laos. The Golden Triangle is the confluence where the Mekong River, which starts in the Tibetan Plateau, flows through China, uh, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, onto Vietnam and empties into Ho Chi, near Ho Chi Minh City, to the South China Sea there. So that's the Mekong River going all the way north and this branching river is the Ruak River that's basically the one that we're in the Four Seasons are on uh, so Myanmar is that triangular spit of land just there where you see the red roofed building that's Myanmar yeah and on the other side is Laos the mountains of Laos and the Mekong River is going all the way left there that's going north towards China basically uh, and that forms the boundary of the three countries and this Ruak River in the foreground is the S-shaped one. That's the boundary between Myanmar to the north and uh, Thailand here. And Laos is to the east of the Mekong. All right, that's the geography. That's the Golden Triangle. Three countries, two rivers. Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, Mekong, and uh, the Ruak River. Seen from the hilltop. Yeah, and you can see the Mekong flowing south. So Chiang Sen, where I got the boat, uh, it's south down there. Uh, that was the capital of the former Lana Kingdom. It's about 10 kilometers down south. Changsen it's called. Hotel is a shuttle bus that takes you there. Also the Golden Triangle for visits. Yeah, that's the Mekong River. Laos on the other side. See all the fishing villages on Laos. I saw that coming up on the boat. It's a very good boat ride. It takes you uh, right up to the border there. You can look at all the fishing with the Thai side slightly quieter and dig at the Golden Triangle and then uh, yeah that's the Mekong River heading southwards towards uh, Cambodia and Vietnam along the Thai Laos border. Alrighty. So thanks for watching the tour yeah an entire uh, Golden Triangle resort here in uh, Thailand a great great resort uh, we're at Anantar uh, at Oman recently yeah uh, the rest of the year um, I'm not sure if there's any more Antares coming out, but they are great hoteliers. Stay up plenty, and uh, we'll stay up plenty more. Alright, hilltop, the Golden Triangle. Alright, we'll see you later. Antares Golden Triangle Elephant Camp Resort and Spa.